hello everyone and welcome back to the channel once again so i have been off for a couple of weeks because i was suffering uh, i'm still now suffering and i'm back at home stuck with a broken ankle but nevertheless that does not make uh, any sense but still i could not come up with any videos recently and the second most reason for that is going to be the meta that was there for uh, the uh, last few weeks of the season like last season it was not that good it was kind of steel as well so that is the reason i was taking a bit off like from this game and i am back now and since this new season have already started there have been a couple of updates which i am sure that you guys have already seen from a couple of content creators as well so i'll, I'll, I'll not going to repeat that but mostly there's uh, the in the new season the uh, the season of wonders it have got uh, three new fast moves which is not that good but the most uh, like highlighting changes of that is going to be the changes to water pulse cross chop break break and aqua tail move and apart from that the most uh, beneficial pokemon that i believe uh, is going to be empoleon with steel wing feraligatr with sh shadow claws and Galade with Psycho Cut over here. So for my first video, I'm going to try out a Galade over here, which is uh, quite highly ranked and having access to uh, Psycho Cut is really a good consistent move that generates energy very quickly and it only takes four to get to a first leaf blade and five to get to a, a nuke of a move of close combat and with shadow damage it might one shot in many scenarios as well but apart from that i can pair this team up with two really good mons which is going to be lantern and the mandibus over here for coverage which is really good for this team as well because uh, if you have gone through the videos from the other content creators uh, water is kind of the thing the typing that is going to be having the most updates so to cover the waters is really a good thing with leaf blade and again you are having a new move of close combat over here so that is the reason i'm going to try out galate first which is acting as an anchor and it is really a good safe trap as well so uh, the closure over here is going to be my mandibus along with tantan as a lead and galate as a safe trap over here so that was the thought process that i wo i had while building this team up and this team was so much fun but i know that it's going to be the very early in the season so it is not very consistent teams right now but still uh, other players are also in the, in the very low ranks as well so it does not matter too much so hopping into the first battle over here I pick up a lead against Bronzong over here and this is no surprise because people will be running uh, different Pokemons over here because some of them are uh, new trainers or and that is the reason if you guys can see here it is going to be a Bronzong and that is underpowered maybe they don't have access to other uh, Pokemons as well but still will not consider those things in the early season so I'll be playing out this matchup as I'll always do so I'll be going for the first surf that draws out the first shield from my opponents and now i can go for the back-to-back -back surfs over here and i believe one surf from this kind of range with the underpowered uh bronze Zong does take it out because now the shield and now i have to go for the next uh surf that eventually does take it out and let's see what they comes out in with so it comes out with their laron over here which got buffed up with uh maybe body slam or maybe rock tomb i'm not sure but uh metal claw as a fast move but still it surf being super effective it hurts quite a lot it is having the same typing as bastardon but it is not having that kind of defense or stamina bulk that it lacks clearly so i'll be getting the farm down with a metal claws over here and now i'll be coming back with my galade and i'll be ripping them apart with uh, uh with stab Psycho cuts over here and now I'll be going for the next leaf blade that does take care of the soul rock or maybe five uh, three four psycho cuts does take out the game over here getting the win for the first battle in this scenario which is good for me so starting the season with a win which is good and now moving on with the next battle I pick up a lead against a bastion over here which I see it is as a powered up fully powered up 
so it's going to be definitely going to be excelled as well so i'll be going for the first surf that uh dies quite does quite a bit of junk as well which is good and that is how lantern is so strong in this meta so with or rise to all this electric like uh, water types in the meta lantern has the chance or maybe it has the potential to rise once again so it went down last season because there were so much counters like maybe whiskash uh quacksire but apart from that since it is now having access to uh so many water types in the meta uh thunderbolt and spark really really troubles them a lot so now since i'm not sure why they swapped out into a uh, into a talent flame over here so i'll be going for the first or rather the, the the next surf that uh will be getting the shield and now i have to shield up my lantern once again and that is the reason i'll be shielding up because i'll be going for the farm down and let's see what they comes back in with so they comes back in with their jellicent once again and i believe jellicent is also a good uh pick for this cup because uh with all the water types uh it is again kind of uh in a neutral situation it does well but you have to watch out for ready steel or maybe cress or maybe lickitung and now uh at uh, uh now fair alligator as well because it is running shadow claws over here so coming i'll be uh, coming back to the battle i'll be going for the next leaf breed with my own collade over here because i went for back to back uh, thunderbolts on to the jellison to take it out so now i'll be going to come back with my mandy which was not necessary because it's going to be a, a stone edge which will be resisted once again uh with uh with my collade but still i come back i i come out with my uh mandibus and i'll be going for the next dark pulse that does take care of the bastion over here and gives me the win for the second battle here as well so ggs hopping into the next battle i pick up a really, really troublesome lead with my uh lantern being a shadow of a venusaur over here so for shadow venusaur i'll be switching out into my own uh into my own glade over here to which they switch out into their uh dragon air over here so dragon air is again a good pick for this cup not not like not for this cup uh, in a in a uh, journalistic gl because of the buff to aquatil over here so earlier aquatil did 50 damage with 30 energy and now it have been buffed up to 55 that gives it a really really good opportunity for uh like for few more matchups and getting the average wins rating uh, up so uh, but this this time for this battle i thought of coming back with my own uh lantern but i thought okay lantern would be somehow uh good for whatever they have in the back and now i'll be switching soaking up these energy on onto my mandibus over here with the body stamp and aquatil to which now i'll be going for the next dark pulse which almost does take it out and now i can easily switch out into my lantern and farm them down with sparks over here to which i believe they will be coming back with my with their own venusaur and their venusaur is giant energy because they went for a uh, uh, frenzy plant with uh, onto my galit so now i'll be shielding for the first frenzy frenzy plant and i'll be trying to farm them down i believe since it's a shadow variant i can easily farm them down and the fire pokemon that they have access to is going to be another really good pick for this uh season as well which is going to be the steel wing empoleon over here because uh, of the electric and water type uh everything registered right now so i'll be going for the next uh thunderbolt that does take care of the empoleon and i have enough energy with my mandibus to go for the next aerial ace that does take care of the venusaur as well and gives me the win for this battle here over here which is going to be really awesome for me because a really really tough lead which uh i handled superbly well and i did get the win for the battle so moving on to the next battle i pick up a lead against charger bug which is again a really troublesome troublesome thing for my whole team because uh mandibus lantern uh does do a decent amount of chunk but still they will lose out to the, it in a two shield scenario over here so i will be going to let this first move go through and the next next move go through as well which is going to be excessor and now i will be going for the next surf which they can easily tank 
and let's see what they tries to do over here so they'll be switching out into their own whiskash so i'll be i'll be switching out into my own uh gallade over here which is have access to leaf plate so leaf plate does draw out the first shield and now i have to shield the first move as well so if they're going for a scald which i believe they did not have enough energy for and now i can easily uh go for the next leaf blade rather taking and tanking one a mud bomb over here which is fine for me and now i'll be going for the next leaf blade over here uh which i believe will be enough to take it out and let's see what they have in their back line over here so it does and now they comes back with their poison flying type which is going to be a gold bat and let's see how how much damage does a close combat do over here which is a really really superb chunk because that's a double resisted move onto a flying poison type uh, so it does a really decent chunk over here which i was surprised as well to see so now uh, i'll be switching out uh, with my mandibus over here and i'll be going for the next dark pulse which i believe uh, they let go and i come back with my own lantern over here which is kind of a mistake because since i don't have shield advantage over here they can easily farm my lantern down because they will be uh, able to farm it down and they have shield advantage shield as well so now from this kind of range i thought they will be going for a bait move of excisor which they did not and they went for a discharge which i did not recall and and i will be going for the next aerial ace which does not do enough damage and they sneak in one volt switch as well which will be end to this battle because i'll be getting the lose uh losing out with this mandibus over here so ggs it happens in the first uh first uh set of the season and when you are uh too much out of the game as well so moving to the next battle i pick up a lead against karmadi which is really good and they switch out into their own lantern over here so lantern will be uh, what i feel lantern will be there uh mostly in almost every team because of the rise of water types over here so i'll be going for the next leaf raid after tanking after like shielding up the first surf and now i will be shielding up as well because from this kind of range i can shield up twice and i'll be going for the next uh leaf raid as well because that leaf raid uh does not one shot from this kind of health because lantern is quite tanky it's a non stab leaf blade as well so it does survive and they switch out into their own skarmory once again so which is fine for me because i can align my lantern here once again and since they don't have anything to throw over here so they will be going for the brief bird which will eventually lower their defense by three stages which is good for me because now i will not farm them down rather i'll be going uh for the next surf that does take care of the scarbody and now let's see let's see what the final book one is going to be over here so they have a very low lantern and a galerian stunfisk over here so i'll be going for the uh first surf that uh does hit quite hard over here and now on the second surf i'll be going to try to cast to the next uh earthquake earthquake which i could not but nevertheless mandy was so tanky that it can hold on to at least three rock slides which is non stab over here and that to coming from a galeria stun fisk over here so rock slide coming in it does survive and they try to sneak in uh, their lantern for a catch which i anticipated really correctly and now i'll be going for the first dark pulse that uh, almost just take it out and now I'll be going for the next one that definitely takes it out from that kind of range and gives me the win for the battle here as well. So this is going to be a really good game and it's, it's a close one as well. So GG's. Uh now moving into the final battle of the video, I like uh I'll be going for a lead with Clotsire over here. So Clotsire is again I believe a good pick for this cup. uh like not not for this cup actually it's a really good and strong defensive pokemon but since with the rise to all this uh water types it's going to be troublesome for uh clots are to perform so nevertheless it's still going to be good so now uh with clots are they comes back in with their leg attack over here and now i'll be charging up a bit of energy and then i'll be switching out into my own uh mandibus over here because ligitung 
does have access to a lake that will be super effective for my own glade over here because of the part psychic type and now i'll be going for the uh, next the, the actually the first dark pulse that almost does um, put the liquid tank 50 percent of his health and now i can tank in this moves as well but i'm not sure why this trainer is actually going for power whip maybe maybe they don't have access to uh, body slam because it's an elite move like exclusive move so that is the reason they'll be going for power whips which is not good so if you're trying out Ligitang it must have access to uh, body slam over here as a spam move so now they comes back in with their claw sire once again and they'll be firing off firing off their sludge bomb and now I'll be going for my own dark pulse over here so dark pulse might get the four shield uh, let's see yeah it does get the four shield and now I have to see what their final Pokemon is going to be uh, out there. So I'll be going for the next Dark Pulse that almost does take it out, but now I'm switching out into their uh, into their uh, Shadow Polyrath over here, which was the top pick for the last season. And now I can easily come back with my Lantern because I have so much energy left out, and they cannot farm me down from that kind of range until and unless they shield up over here which the shield which is fine for me again because i have a shield advantage onto my side as well so i'll be going for back to back serves which does put it quite low and they have to go for the next scald or maybe ice punch not uh, like neither of them does take me out and i'll be switching out into my galate farming them down with psycho cut and i have enough energy to go for the next leave blade that hits the clot sire for neutral damage but it is quite low to give it get taken out which it does and gives me the win for the final battle of the video over here which is really really awesome for me and i played two sets with this uh with this team which that worked out really well for me so as you guys can see uh <laughs> you you might be thinking that i i lost the first two battles but it is not that case because i started the uh like i started the season uh in the middle of a set uh, because i did not complete the last set in my last season so that is the reason for that but if you're trying out this team do let me know how it is working out for you and Galate with Psycho Cut is super super awesome over here and I'm just totally amazed by it so thanks for watching and see you again in the next one till then peace